Hi mamas, I'm Grace from Labor Mom, and as promised, I'm here today to talk to you about my $2 hands-free pumping hack. And I think it's a little bit fitting that I finally found time to shoot this video, and it's Mother's Day. Well, we all know that motherhood is full of sacrifice, and it's wonderful, and it's a great ride, but we definitely sacrifice for our kids, and I feel Looking back um, when my boys were babies, that one of the biggest sacrifices I made, besides no sleep, which is huge, and I'm still recovering from that, is pumping, pumping at work. Um, with each of my boys, I breastfed them for, gosh, um, more, than, more than 15 months. One was a little bit longer than the other, but I pumped at work for at least a year with each of them and hated it, hated it every second. I hated that breast pump with a passion. I hated trying to take the time away from work to find time to pump. It just, it was never a joy, but I did it because I felt very strongly that breastfeeding was the best thing for them. And I was so privileged that it worked for us. I was able to do that for so long. And so I did it. But as you know, I'm a nurse on a busy labor and delivery unit, and it was never easy. It was never easy to find the time. And so I spent my time perfecting the ways to get in and out of that room as quickly as possible. And I wrote about that in the post that I gave to you about the busy nurse's guide to pumping at work in 15 minutes or less. And I hope that that was a help for you. And in that post, I talked about this $2 hack for hands-free pumping. Now, there are a lot of products on the market to pump hands-free. And it's a big deal because, you know, if you're gonna sit there however many times you're pumping a day for 15, 20 minutes at a time, and you have to just hold everything there, that, that doesn't work for me. I needed my hands, I needed to scroll through Facebook, I needed to eat. Sometimes I even charted while I was pumping, although I tried not to do that because that's really depressing to pump and chart at the same time. But anyway, being hands-free really does free you up to do other things and make those pumping sessions more enjoyable. So there are lots of products out there, but none of them really worked for me for different reasons, either cost, you know, pregnancy and baby products in general are way overpriced for the materials you actually get, or it was convenience, time, I just, nothing really worked for me. And so I developed my own system and that's what I'm going to share with you today. So and I'm going to show you exactly how I did it. So let's talk about what we have here. Now, the first thing that you need is the right foundation. So if you see what I'm wearing and it's another story altogether as to why I still own all these nursing tanks, but let's not go there. That's something for another day. Um, I wore one of these tanks every single shift that I worked. And this is what worked for me. I liked having an extra layer under my scrubs anyway. It was supportive enough. And as you're gonna see, it was perfect for that hands-free pumping and pumping quickly. I'm double tanked right now. We're gonna make this PG. And I'll be perfectly honest with you that the main reason we're making this PG is because I am not breastfeeding anymore. And unlike you, I don't have those rock star boobs that you have, um, or maybe you don't yet. And if you don't, you will. They're a little bit amazing and a little bit terrifying, but I'm not there anymore. So you can just disregard this tank. You're not going to have anything under your nursing tank. So what was important for me in choosing what I wore to work to make things easy for pumping was this style of tank. And I really looked for it. I don't think that this particular tank they're making anymore. I got it at Target and I just couldn't find it because um, I wanted to link to it for you so that you could get it as well. Um, I did find some similar ones that if you look at the blog post that I'll link to. But the key is because, you know, other places make them and you can either do this as a bra or a tank. I liked the tank, it was comfortable for me, but definitely you could use a nursing bra. But what was key was that the style, you see how it crosses over here in the front. Um, and this was important, I'm doing this all backwards because I'm, this is a video and it's weird for me. 
um, it crosses over in the front. And why this is important is because other styles of tanks, like the one I'm wearing under here, you know, where it clips, it comes down. The problem with that, and it works, I've used it before. The problem is that if you unclip it, you take it down, it exposes your whole breast, right? Well, there's nothing really to hold the pump parts in. This style is great because you just kind of pull it aside and it's still there. It's still kind of snug and it just uncovers your breast that way. So that was key for my hands-free pumping hack, which you'll see in a minute. Okay, so we have our breast pumps. Um, oh, and another note here, what is this on here? I talked about in my um, post about pumping at work is that I found this amazing system that saves so much time, so much hassle, both for me in the pumping part of it and for my husband in the feeding it to the babies part of it. And it's called the KIND system, K-I-I-N-D-E. You can get it on Amazon, I've seen it at Target. But the brilliance of this is that you take your pump, whatever kind of pump you have, this is one of the Medela pumps. Um, you take whatever pump you have, you get this KIND system and it comes with adapters. So for whatever pump you have, and it, it's, compatible with a lot of different brands, you find the adapter that works and then you screw it onto your pump part and then you take their breastfeeding bags, their breast milk bags, and these are safe to go from pumping to the fridge to the freezer and then it even comes with a warmer that doesn't really heat the milk but you put it it, it <laughs> I'm not even saying this correctly um, you put it in water and it just circulates warm water around it to gently and safely thaw and heat up the breast milk so that it doesn't you know ruin the protein particles molecules and break down the structure of the breast milk it's safe for it anyway so, but on this end of it, it was amazingly simple for me because I would just put this adapter on my pump. I would unscrew this. It screws right on. And then you pump directly into the bag. And not only does this save you time, it saves you, um, it's clean, it's sanitary. You're not pouring breast milk from one container to another. And it can save milk too, because I don't know about you, but I sure have spilled a lot of breast milk and trying to transfer from one container to another. And there's nothing more devastating than that, all of that hard work that you put into it. So you can pump directly into this. And then when you're done, all you do is you unscrew it, you put the cover back on, taking out the air if you need to. What I would do is I would take a Sharpie, I would write the date right on the end of the cap so that if I had it stuck into the freezer like this, lying down and freezing, I could easily see what date I pumped that on. Brilliant. So I have, you have your pump parts and however you do it, you may have bottles on the end of it, whatever you've decided to do. Let me get the other one set up. And you're set to pump. Okay, so you will also have, of course, this hooked up to the lines and to the pump, which I don't have here right now. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get this hooked up. And as you can see, this type of tank kind of tucks it right in in the bottom already. And if I had this pumping, it would already be going. And this is already tucked in and it's not staying super well because the bottom is, this up tank underneath is kind of slippery, but it's already kind of tucked in there. That in itself is almost hands-free. And, um, and for me, it almost would have been enough. Now everyone's breast anatomy is different and depending on how yours is, it may or may not work. But once you've got the suction going and it's not staying because it's obviously not sucking right now, um, this holds it in pretty well, which is great. Um, but it wasn't quite enough because it held in the bottom pretty well, but then the top, there would be a gap and that would break suction. That's where my hands-free pumping hack comes in. Are you ready for this secret? 
Um, all this is, is a length of sewing elastic with an alligator clip at the end. Can you see this? I'm gonna pull this right in. It's one of these alligator clips that has, you know, those little teeth to grab something. You could probably use a bunch of different things, but this is works really well. I actually bought this as part of a set from someone on Etsy that did, it was sort of a complicated thing to try to do like a whole hands-free pumping bra made out of elastic and alligator clips. And it didn't really work for me. It, it still took too much time to set up. Um, if I had it tightened the way it was really hands-free, it put a lot of strain on my neck and it just didn't really work for me. But this piece was genius. And I found that this was all I needed along with my nursing tank. So let me show you how it works. So I have these tucked in here. It's pumping, it's attached because there's suction, but then I needed problem. I needed the top to stay down. And so all I would do is bring this around my back, attach it in the front so that it was snug. And then voila, this would hold down the tops of them while the nursing tank would hold down the bottom of the flanges and then it was secure and I could pump. Um, it was completely hands-free. I could do whatever I wanted to, or, and I talk about this in my other posts too, how important it is not just to let the pump do all the work, but you also have to be like massaging your breasts and getting all that milk out from all of the milk ducts. Um, but you could do that while this is holding your, your pump pieces on. And so that's all it is. That's my $2 hack. Um, so again, this is one that I bought. All you would have to do, and you know, the $2 is an estimate. I'm really not sure that it would be exactly that if you bought the supplies. It probably depends on how many alligator clips are in the package, how much elastic you buy, but it's not that much money. So this is sewing elastic, probably half inch, quarter inch. You can estimate it. I don't think it's really going to matter what size you get and just, you know, get enough so that you can put it around you and clip it tight. This is actually way too much. Um, and then these little alligator clips, which I think you could probably also buy in the craft or the sewing section when you go to the store. Um, because this was a little bit more professionally done than I would have. It's got this little metal grommet on it, but you do not need that at all. This has a loop on it. You could just snake that elastic through the loop and put it in a knot. And there you have it. Um, if you're, if you buy it and the alligator clips come in a set of five or 10, make five or 10 and give them to all your friends who are having babies and they will love you for it as well. Um, so anyway, that's my $2 hands-free pumping hack. And I hope that it's a help to you. Um, Again, everyone's situation is different. Everyone's body anatomy is different. What works for me may not work for you, but we all have these hacks that have made our lives a little bit easier. Breast pumping is not easy, whether you're pumping exclusively for whatever reason and you're chasing around a baby or a toddler, or you're pumping at work and trying to find time to do that, to have a stash at home for when you're gone for your baby. Um, it's not easy. And so everything that we can do to shave a few minutes off and make it a little bit less of a hassle um, is a plus. So I hope that you've enjoyed this. Um, hop on to labormom.com. Let me know what you think and you guys have a great day. Bye.